Over the holiday season, you got a new Sims 4 pack. Let's take a look over a few things you might not know. Since this video is going up around the holidays, it's only fitting to start off with fun facts about the Seasons expansion pack. Let's begin with who you can fight. Just as a reminder, you don't need the traits I'm about to list off. There are other ways to accomplish the interaction. These traits are simply the ones I've actually tried myself, in-game, and they've worked for me. Did you know you could start a fight with Father Winter for presents? To do this, your sim will need to have the evil, mean, hot-headed, erratic, or childish trait. When Father Winter appears at your house at 8pm, you'll be able to greet them. You could ask him for a present under friendly, or you could fight him for one. This interaction is under mean. Beware though, Father Winter has a mean left jab. You don't only have the option to fight Father Winter, you can also fight the Flower Bunny for an egg. To do this, you need to create a holiday with the Flower Bunny as a tradition. You could also include the egg hunt as a tradition, since without that, there's no point to collecting eggs. Unless you really like eggs. Make sure your sim has the evil, mean, hot-headed, erratic, or childish trait. Greet the bunny when they arrive. They might walk around throwing confetti and plant seeds on the ground, so that's kind of nice of them. Then under mean, you'll find this option. Beware though, Flower Bunny's got some game, and you might not be able to get an egg after all. So, you want to sabotage the countdown to midnight on New Year's Eve, eh? This is how you do it. First of all, your sim will need to have the evil, mean, hot-headed, erratic, or childish trait. When it's getting close to midnight, make sure that everyone is watching the countdown on TV. Just before midnight, your sim needs to go up to the TV and select this option. It'll ensure that the countdown is sabotaged and will annoy everyone. By the way, if you do this action early, then someone can just turn back on the TV, so be careful about that. It's definitely an interesting way to start off a new year. So, you want to sabotage the holiday tree. Okay. Your sim will need to have the evil, mean, hot-headed, erratic, or childish trait. Then, they can go up to the holiday tree and select sabotage tree. It'll look like they're adding decorations to it, but at the end, the tree will end up looking a little sad. Kind of like this. You can still decorate it after doing that. Here's the difference between a sabotage tree and a normal one. Ever make New Year's resolutions in real life and then you never follow through with them? Well, your sims can join in on the fun now. When a holiday has resolutions as a tradition, you can click on your sim and set a resolution for them. Here are some of the options. You have to finish your resolution in 7 days. You can see your progress in this window here. When you make the resolution, you'll get an inspired moodlet. And when you finish it, you'll have a happy moodlet. If you don't finish it, your sim might get a negative moodlet, or they might get a confident one because some sims just don't need a resolution to make them feel better. So, you want to send a thank you card Whoa, on a holiday. Noosh. That's pretty nice of you. You can do this during the holiday where the tradition is to have a thankful spirit. To send a thank you card, you need to click the mailbox and select this option. This is really good if you live by yourself, but you still want to participate in this tradition. If you have a holiday with a trick-or-treat tradition, you can perform a prank. This is how you do it. On the holiday, sims will come up to your front door and knock. When you click on them, you can select trick or treat. If you choose treat, you give them candy. If you choose trick, you make them look somewhere else and then you scare them. Both of these options give you a playful moodlet. The treats will give you a spooky sweets bestower and the trick will give you spooky time shenanigans. Here in Canada, it's been quite snowy this holiday season. I couldn't help but to dream of a more sandy way to celebrate. That's why next we're checking out the fun facts about island living. Have you been here before? With Sims 4 Island Living, you can head on down to this area in Solani to write about here to check out this secluded cave. Through various actions in the cave, you will complete this right here. Essentially, you just need to explore the cave for it to slowly expand and fill out the picture. You might find mermaid kelp here. Mermaid kelp will help transform your sim into a mermaid. There is buried treasure hidden throughout the cave. Visit the depth of the cave to find new experiences. This will even help your sim clean up the island. There are tons of stuff to find out about in Sims 4. For example, if your sim is hanging out in the deep ocean, they might get caught in a current. This will give them a scared moodlet, but not much else. It's a nice little detail though. Let's be honest, they didn't do a great job implementing a system to notify the player when Solani events are happening. 
So here's the deal. All of the events take place in this neighborhood. Except for one. There is a fishing competition on Saturday at 12 p.m. There is a fish vendor that sells seafood dishes and fish bait. When you're done fishing, ask the vendor about the tournament results. There are simoleons for first, second, and third place. Sunday at 9 a.m. there's a family fun day. Monday at 4 p.m. there's a town barbecue. You can cook up a big barbecue feast during this event. At 1 p.m. on Tuesday there's a flowers and music festival. Wednesday at 6 p.m. there's a town potluck. Thursday at 9 a.m. there's an island celebration at the pavilion. On Friday at 6 p.m. there's a beach bonfire. Lastly, the final event actually happens over here and you have to unlock it. When you do unlock the turtle hatching event, it'll happen at 9 a.m. on the first Monday after receiving the notification. Did you know you could cook a Grand Pit barbecue feast? You have all of these delicious options to choose from. Once the food is on the barbecue, you can hang out and wait for it to be done. Enjoy your yummy feast. Can't forget one or two shorts for Get Famous. Here they are. Kids like playing on things. Like this pond item that came with Get Famous. As a kid, you can stand on the edge of this pond and play. You'll see all these things popping up. Unless you switch your view to a non-child, your sim can also die interacting with this pond. They can actually fall into the pond and die if the pond is full of hungry fish. Grim, eh? Did you know you could get a free lot with Get Famous? Go into this lot right here and delete the part. Just delete everything. Change the lot type to residential. Now, when you want to move a sim into this lot, it'll be for free. Last but not least, here are some random ones that I thought were just kind of interesting. Do you want to earn more simoleons in Sims 4? Same. If this is what you're all about, make sure you give your sim one of the fortune aspirations. It doesn't even matter which one. This will give you the bonus trait called Business Savvy. With this trait, your sim will earn more money than the standard rate for careers. Did you know you could report food poisoning? If your sim gets food poisoning from a restaurant, they can actually call the restaurant directly to report it. They can, potentially, receive a small payout from doing this. This statue is kind of cool, if you're into that sort of vibe. Not only is it a look, but you can place items onto the plate, which might look pretty neat, depending on what you're going for. Did you know you could get a special moodlet from sack lunches? Yep, you heard that correctly. If you give your sim a sack lunch, they're going to eat it if they get hungry at school or work. Once that time comes and they enjoy their little meal, they're going to get a plus two happy buff called Pack with Love. Want to know some of Brindleton Bay's secrets? First and foremost, the lighthouse is a woohoo location. This is what it looks like. Also, just check out these cute little hearts above the door. So adorable. If you come to the pet cemetery at nighttime with an extra plate of ambrosia, you can befriend and revive a cat or a dog. When you revive them, they're automatically included into your household, so you kind of adopted a pet. And you saved a life. The laser pointer actually changes colors based on your sim's current mood as they use it. Lastly, you might know this one, but the mayor of Brindleton Bay is actually a stray cat named Mayor Whiskers. Look how cute they are. There we go. A few, did you know, for things you might not have known about. If you enjoyed this sort of video, like the compilation of shorts, please let me know and I'll make more in the future. Thank you for watching. I'm sending all of you lots of love and positive vibes. Until next time, bye!